This video is provided as supplementary material for courses taught at Howard Community College. And in this video, I want to demonstrate how to find the line of reflection when you're given an image and the reflection of that image. So I've got two quadrilaterals here. I'm going to use the green one, A, B, C, D, as the original image. And I'll use the orange one, A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, as its reflected image. What I want to do is find the line that was used to create the reflection. This is a fairly simple process. What I'm going to do is take two pairs of corresponding points and connect them with a line segment. So I'll connect A and A prime, and then I'll connect points C and C prime. After that, I'm going to use a compass to find the perpendicular bisectors for each of those lines. So I'll set the compass point at A, and I'll draw an arc, and then I'll move the compass point over to A prime, keeping the setting the same, and I'll draw a second arc. Then I can change my compass setting for C. I'll move over to C and draw an arc over here and keeping the compass setting the same as the one I just used, I'll move over to C prime and draw another arc. And now if I connect the places where each pair of arcs intersected, I'll have both of the perpendicular bisectors. So I'll draw a line through them to the perpendicular bisector. And this perpendicular bisector I'm going to label that line L. That's the line of reflection. Now here's why this works. When you reflect an image, that each point on the image and its corresponding point, those pairs of points are going to be the same distance away from the line of reflection. So since I bisected line segment A, A prime, I know that a line that goes through that point of, of bisection is going to be part of my line of reflection. And I bisected C and C prime. I got another point where they were bisected. Connecting those two points, I then have the line of reflection. And that's about it. Take care. I'll see you next time.